I think it's really great that Geshe Kelsen Gatso has written some books for children. Uh, as a parent, I've previously looked for books on uh, Buddhism, uh, how to deal with kind of like spiritual topics, and found there to be a bit of a, a lack in the market. They're very, very clear and concise, and they help to address the problems that both children and adults experience, you know, in particular children, you know, experience problems of finding it difficult to share things. Things are unfair, um, agitation, frustration, these sorts of things. And these books, they're so clear and precise that they go directly to, to the problem itself, um, showing, uh, showing the children where their problems are coming from and also showing them how to deal with those problems. It's very difficult to explain concepts to children without good resources. Um, in all my previous schools, um, we've always wanted to cover Buddhism as a religion because as a school you like to give um, equal access to the children to all religions but it's got some quite complex concepts and I've spent hours, days um, with teams of teachers looking for good resources um, and never really found anything. Um, so for Venerable Geshe to create some books which um, interestingly are because they're written for everybody um, benefit I think personally will benefit the teachers in their understanding of Buddhism as well as the children. So um, yes, I'm very excited about the books appearing. When Angli Mala said, stop monk, and then Buddha said that he had already stopped a long time ago, and then he said, what? And then Angli Mala said, why? Buddha said, I have already stopped doing harmful actions a long time ago. It's you who hasn't stopped. And then, and then Angad Mala bowed down in front of him and started crying because he had done all those bad actions. And that, that touched my heart. He stopped. And then he stopped walking. And then he saw this man charging towards him. And then he, he was just staying still, but like in his meditating position. He was, and then, and, and then that man could not even touch him, not even one finger, because he was just meditating. And that's what you have to learn, that, that if you meditate, nothing happens. You, you just stop things that are happening wrong. He's talking directly to their potential and therefore it was very inspiring as well as an adult um, seeing those illustrations and reading them to my children how sometimes the practical advice how to develop compassion for example in the in the story of Buddha is a very clear practical advice how to put it into practice what he does with his mind I and mean, they use this bubble speech to show you you know, you encounter this situation, you can develop that wish in your heart. And actually for me, it was a breakthrough in a practice that up to now I didn't know how quite to do it. And I was so happy, I developed this treasure in the middle of the kid's story. Suddenly there was this little treasure for me. And in the stories for children, there's keys for the adult as well, how to put it into practice. Absolutely amazing how you could just, it's like all the Buddhist teachers being condensed into a children's book. But completely profound and just as powerful. Absolutely wonderful. So yeah, I really like the tone of the books. Uh, the fact that they aren't patronising and they uh, cut straight to the chase and deal with some kind of difficult topics head on. Uh, they deal with the fact that life isn't a rose garden. You know that there is suffering in life, which I think is uh, I think it's great to be able to discuss that openly with children, not to kind of hide it and try to sugarcoat the difficulties in life, because we never know. We never know when suffering is going to arise, when there's going to be sickness or problems in the family, or whether a death might occur in the family. 
So I think it's nice to be able to talk through these difficult subjects with your children and to be able to prepare them. Spend some time now preparing and talking openly about these subjects. My experience through meditation with children, just teaching them to uh, calm down the mind through the breathing meditation mainly, that they developed an emotional intelligence so they can relate to how they're feeling. I don't expect it to be sitting really still, you know, the kids might be wobbling a bit, but then later on, maybe in another time, they're using it, like Doji, my son says, um, in school breaks sometimes, if he's bored, he does breathing meditation. He finds his moments to do breathing meditation. So it's a tool they have there to use and they, they apply it when their the wisdom, you know, calls for it. My children, I try to get them to meditate and they will sit there and um, they'll, they'll make their best effort. But I find when they are um, worried or frightened about something, just, just getting them to concentrate on the breath without anything formal is completely beneficial and giving them that um, space in the mind. They teach children life skills to be the best they can be. So it's not about having to be Buddhist to read these, understand them and use them. It's discovering kind of fundamental knowledge really that's going to benefit them to deal with any problems that arise through their lives so they can have successful lives. Did you go, yes, books for children? Geshe-la has written them himself. He's written them himself. And we're already thinking how many sets we need to order for every child we know of <coughs> that we think, I've got to get this for this person, this person, this person. And I'm so happy that these books have been published to spread around the world, for, for children around the world to know how to meditate.